hello everyone this, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time so what i have here is a bunch of little seedlings that i grew i'm super excited because i've tried this before and every year they end up dying but this year what i did is i ended up getting jiffy pellets um and jif yeah jiffy pellets which is this thing and then i bought this um jiffy pellet cover or greenhouse cover i don't even know what they're called but anyway they come with a little dome let me show you they come with this and they're jiffy and this plastic thing just goes over and you just kind of leave it leave it there and they grow anyway so i planted these about a month ago and they have been doing really good now this is different this is a tray that I got from, um, I think I ordered in a supermarket some food. And this comes with a nice tray over it and it snaps. And so what I did is I got it, put, them, put all my little pellets in there with my seeds and look at how wonderful they are. So if you don't want to buy Jiffy greenhouse things, whatever, um, this is an alternative. And they have done really, really well. So... This is Petunia, and look at how wonderful they are. Now, they're getting a little bit discolored, which means that it needs nutrients, and I'm going to be transplanting them pretty soon um, and thinning them out, too, because look at what happened here. So in some of them, I tried to get one seed only, but that didn't work, work very well, did it? So look at this see that so I'm going to be thinning them out and then putting them in a place where I can just have them growing properly and see here it is and I don't know if you could see here it looks kind of a little green which means that it is too moist but doesn't matter because I'm going to be transplanting them now this little Jeffy, Jeffy pellets they're not the greatest sometimes like look at this one nothing grew in this one so I, I don't know what the deal is okay and then I'm, I'm gonna show you this this I got at Toys R Us remember Toys R Us well it was the toy store awesome everybody got their toys there and they closed but before they closed I ended up getting this uh, little tray this was a kids thing it came for it came with like tomato seeds and then it came with this tray and it has this um, greenhouse cover and it works really well and it also has this sliding sort of window that lets moisture in anyway I've used this this is a, a tray that I just recently added more seeds because I transplanted some of them and I'm going to be putting them outside so I want more seeds to grow and I think I have petunia in there. Um, and these are some of the ones that I've already transplanted. So the one thing that I did so that they can grow faster is I also got a heat mat, which I connected to a timer. And this way, it's not on all the, all the time. It doesn't really get hot. You don't need to have this connected to a temperature control thing because it doesn't this doesn't really get hot. It only gets to above to about 20 degrees warmer than the the temperature in the garage, which is where I have this thing growing. And then the other thing is that I have this grow light, see? Um and then I extended it by having a heat lamp because on that side I don't have a grow light so look this is this is just a regular shelf that I got I share it with toys from my son and then I have a couple of this one um, shelf station here that I took for myself for my gardening and so that's how I do it and it works um, it is super cheap cheap to do if you have a shelf like this or any kind of shelf and this one has wires right and so what I did what I did is this 
light tray or, or heat tray, whatever, I don't know, the light. The light fixture comes with a chain. And so I kind of wrapped it around and I shortened it. Let me show you, uh, let me show you what I mean. See, comes with this and then it has this little hook that it comes with that's attached to the chain. So I, I'm able to just have it the length that I want. And so it works really well. Anyway, so this is what I have growing this year. I decided not to do tomatoes like I normally do. I have, this is lobelia, and this is some uh, petunia, but it's different kinds of petunias growing. And I also have alyssum. And look at this, let me show you. Let me show you what I did here. It's the same kind of concoction. So this is from something that I bought last summer. Um, it came with this uh, cover and I kept it because it's got little holes already in it. And so that meant that all I needed to do was just get this tray. And believe it or not, this is just from a food tray. I think this is um, pool pork. Yep, pool pork. Pool pork, I got it at Costco. It comes with this tray and I saved it. It's pretty deep. It's deep enough so that I can put my little Jiffy pellets in there with some seeds and it's grown really, really well. Unfortunately, it doesn't work well in that I do need a section, like another section of with light over there because it's not growing very well. But I'm going to be moving this so that it can be kind of, I don't know if I can salvage it. I saw a video on YouTube where somebody had a thing of what to do and how to fix leggy um, seedlings so i'm going to be looking at that and then in the future i'm going to do another video to see if i figure it out otherwise they just kick the bucket so what's nice about this concoction that i have here with a shelving unit that is 48 inches wide is that i can move things around so um this i'm going to start hardening off just very little by little the temperature outside is really cooperating. I'm gonna add some more water. And then this over here, I have growing Nicotiana or Nicotia. As I've seen different videos, which is where I get my information, is from YouTube. Um, and different people call it different things, so whatever. But the main thing about this kind of plant is that this is a tropical plant. And so that's why I've kept it covered. Um, it's really fragrant. I ran into it by chance. I didn't even know that what it was. And I just kept kind of wondering, like, what was the fragrance in my garden? And then I found out that it's this little babies. See? So we're going to be transplanting this pretty soon. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you what I have growing in my garden this year. Um, plants are getting really expensive. One little thing with... Um, a little tray with like six plants is like five dollars depending on where you are so I decided this year I'm just gonna do my own and see what happens okay so I hope that you enjoy my channel I really like to share what it is I have in my garden growing and the different things that I find out about different plants and so I hope that you subscribe and just hit the little uh, bell so you can get new videos um, thanks for watching and I hope that you continue watching my channel.